Hello and welcome back. This is of course one to do with another Steinwald tutorial and today we're going to be covering level working. If you don't know too much about professions as a whole, do check out my professions video which is an overview of everything. It'll tell you what the colours mean on all of the different things in the menu. But if you're here specifically for beginners level working which is levels 1 to 10, then you are in the right place. So to begin your leather working you need to be in the Farshore village, Farshore town, which I am at the moment, and you can come to Sebastian Arias, who is the leather working guide. You need to buy the torn leather book, and while you're at it, you might as well buy the dirty yarn book. Um, both of these are the key ingredients for leather working, as you can see down here. And you will need plenty of torn, uh, what's it, torn hide and dirty fibre to do leather working. It's quite a grind this uh, profession, and you get these from killing uh, monsters level two to ten. So on the map, anywhere in the far shore region, which is this kind of rough area. I recommend killing these rats right here because they are level 2 so even if you're not necessarily level 30 like I am you can go around and kill them nice and quickly and there's a good chance that they will drop torn hide or dirty fiber which of course they're not doing now for the video but I assure you that they do drop and it's a bit intermittent on what the drops are but it's just a grind that you have to get through. So once you've got plenty of torn hide and dirty fiber you need to start your um, training, so start making torn leather and go through. So I can do this now, and this will give you various amounts of XP depending on what your leather working level is. Once you have reached at least level four, notice there's quite a gap between two, there's a jump from two to four, which means that there's quite a, a drag as you get less XP as you level up level three to four. So there's a bit of a, a gap but you do actually need all the resources so it's not it's going to help you in the long run to get through it all you are ready to start creating some of the items which can be very useful i will also raise that this takes level w working four to make but you need level five of your actual character level to wear so just bear that in mind every single one of these the character level to wear is higher than the level working level so you need to make a get some simple rivets which you can simply do from visiting the guide again, someone in the chat is very upset. You can buy the simple rivets here for five gold. So have them and you need, you can go ahead and buy them. I'm not gonna buy this because I'm poor. Uh, and uh, so again, it's quite a gold sink, but that will let you um, level your way up through rugged leather pants, loyal pants of thorns. I'll show you what they are. Some of these items can be quite good. This one I, I would say is not bad if you're early on in the game. So they're definitely worth um, getting. And then up to leather working seven is where things get a bit more interesting because you now require your highness resin which is a resource you get from lumbering so you either need to buy this or have level nine lumbering uh, and you can watch my lumbering video to find out how you get this so then all of these afterwards require another uh, resource from one of the other skills so this one is uh, beech nut which again is from uh, lumbering which is helpful oh, I missed out embroidered spolders which again is lumbering so level 9 lumbering will be very useful in your leather working journey and I would recommend as in all of my professions to get up to level 10 where you will be able to unlock leather I say this because this area will do Farsha will do level 1 to 9 and rocky passage there's a guide in the town of Gelador who will be able to do levels 10 but if you go there in level 9 and you learn this book you won't be able to use you won't be able to do this skill and you have to come back to Farshore to level up before you can get over there but that should help you on your leather working journey if you did find it helpful please do like and subscribe and do check out my other videos including my other tutorials as well as my Steinwald Let's Play there's lots of useful information out there do make use of it and I hope to see you in game thanks for watching goodbye